Hello, I'm Lucy Whitaker, a specialist motoring solicitor. This short video is about failing to name a driver following an alleged driving offence. In cases where, where the police suspect that a driving offence has been committed, but the person was not stopped at the time, they will not know who the driver of the vehicle was, well usually anyway. And for this reason, the police send out a request for driver details, sometimes referred to as a Section 172 notice, because it is a request under the Section 172 of the Road Traffic Act 1988. This section of the Act provides an obligation for anyone in receipt of a request uh, for driver details to provide certain information. The requirements are slightly different depending on whether you are the keeper of the vehicle alleged to be involved in the offence or not. It's important to note that even if you know nothing about the vehicle that the notice relates to, you still have an obligation to respond to the notice. As a starting point, you're required to give all the information that you can which could lead to the identification of the driver. This means that if you have no knowledge of the vehicle, you should write back explaining this. If you do not do this, you will struggle to have a defence to failing to provide driver details. If you receive a request for information to name a driver, you must provide the details within 28 days unless there is a good reason for not doing so. The penalty for failing to provide driver details is six penalty points or a discretionary disqualification and a fine. There are various defences to failing to give driver details. If you did not receive the request in the first place, then you could argue it was not reasonably practicable to give that information. If you did not know who the driver was, you would still have a defence if you gave all the information that you could. If you were the keeper of the vehicle, you would also have to show that you acted with reasonable diligence in trying to find out who the driver was. In order to act as a deterrent, a conviction for failing to identify a driver may result in a greater penalty than the original offence of, say, speeding at 35 miles per hour in a 30 limit. It will not be a defence to failing to provide driver information just to say that you were not the driver of the vehicle involved in the original offence. Other misunderstandings which can cause, cause problems include if you're out of the country for a period of time and don't receive the notice, or if you move address and fail to update your logbook with DVLA. These situations of themselves will not provide you with a defence. Finally, I should explain that the police will often charge both failing to give driver details as well as the original offence of speeding. Well, such as speeding, it may not be speeding. Depending on the circumstances, it may be possible to plead guilty to the lesser charge, in which case the prosecution may withdraw the failing to give driver details offence. This can make the difference between three and six points, and in some cases can make the difference between a totting disqualification or revocation if you are a new driver. That concludes this short video. If you are facing a failing to give driver details allegation and need further advice, please do get in contact with me using the details on this screen. Thank you for listening.